Hi, this video will teach you how to set up your computer for development. We will be installing Ruby with RVM, Python with PYENV, and Node.js with NVM. I hope you find this video useful. Please hit subscribe and like. If you like the video, please help me share it as well. The computer I'm using is my old MacBook Air. Its version is Mac OS Bigzer 11.0.1. This tutorial should work fine with any Mac version 10.14 and above. Now, let's get started. You need to open Terminal App. It is located in Utilities menu. At the bottom you should see Terminal App, double click it to open. Drag the icon to keep it in dock, and I like my terminal to be dark green so let's change it in Terminal Preferences. Click Homebrew Theme and then click Default. Restart Terminal to open with new theme. If the terminal is too small to see, drag to resize the screen. Or just press Command Plus on the keyboard to zoom in. Next, we will be installing Xcode command line tools for developer by using this command. Xcode dash select space dash dash install. Proceed with the installation pop up screen. It should take a while depending on your computer and internet connection. Now that it is done, let's continue with installing Ruby. We will be using our VM, which stands for Ruby Environment Manager. To install, Google this keyword GitHub space RVM. Open the link that says github slash rvm slash rvm. Scroll down to installing rvm section, then copy the command that starts with slash curl. Paste the command into your terminal screen. Next we will be using rvm to install Ruby. We will be installing Ruby version 3.0.0. The latest version as of March. The command is rvm install 3.0.0. If you are installing Ruby for the first time, RVM will automatically install Homebrew. The first prompt you will see is where would you like to install Homebrew. My recommendation is to just press Enter. Do not change anything unless you know what you are doing. Now, I'm pressing Enter. It will then ask for your Mac password. If you are not familiar with Terminal, then you should know that you can't see your own password when you are typing. Just type the password and press Enter. RVM will once again confirm the installation folders. Just press Enter and wait. This might take a really long while. For my old MacBook Air, it took almost 20 minutes. Now that it's done, check current Ruby version by using this command, Ruby space dash V. You should see that the current Ruby version is 3.0.0. RVM also provide other functions such as RVM list. This will list all versions that is installed in this Mac. Another command is RVM list known. Scroll up to see all installable Ruby version. Next, let's install Ruby version 2.7.2. The command is RVM install 2.7.2. Again, it will take a while, but not as long as the first installation. Once it is done, you now have both 2.7.2 and 3.0.0. To switch Ruby version, it's very simple. Just use this command, RVM use. Then type the version you want to switch. For example, RVM use 3.0.0, check the Ruby version again, it should change to 3.0.0, try switching back and forth until you remember the commands. If you wish to set default Ruby version, just add this option, dash dash default, then that version will become default version every time terminal start. Now, we will be installing Python using PYENV. PYENV can be installed via Homebrew. Homebrew is already installed, thanks to RVM in the previous section. To install, I find it's easy to Google this keyword, PYENV space usage. An article from opensource.com is very easy to understand, thanks to the author. Open the link and scroll down until you see this command. Brew install PYENV, copy and paste the command to terminal. Now let's install Python. The version that's supported by Mac Big Sur is 3.8.4. Installation command is PYENV install 3.8.4.
Even though the installation is completed, new Python is still not used. The command, which Python, shows that Mac is still using pre-installed version of Python. To fix this, you need to modify .zshrc file in your home folder. The command is na no space dot zshrc. Terminal should open a text editor that looks like this. Go back to the website and copy this section. I repeat, only this section. And paste it at this location in not. No, you should recheck the result. Make sure it looks like this. Next press Ctrl X. Then, Y. Then, Enter. This should save the file and exit the editor. Restart the terminal and recheck Python version again, which Python should be linked to pyenv.shim folder. To switch Python version, just use this command pyenv space lalocal space 3.8.4. Now let's install another Python version 3.9.0. Once it's done, you can test switching Python back and forth just like using RVM. Last, the easiest one, NVM and Node.js. Google this keyword, GitHub space NVM. Open this link and scroll down to the CURL command. Copy and paste this command to terminal. Now, wait until the installation is completed. Upon completion, you should see these lines of code. Copy these lines of code. Make sure that you copied the correct code. Open.zshrc using nano. Then paste the code at the bottom of the file. Save the file by pressing Ctrl X, then Y, then Enter, and now your NVM is ready. Let's install Node.js. If you are getting this warning, we will come back to fix it later. Just press Y and Enter for now. NVM is similar to RVM. To install Node.js you just have to type NVM install and the version you want. But if you want to install latest Node.js version you just have to key NVM install node. Installing Node.js should be fast. If you want to check the version installed in your computer, together with latest LTS versions, just type NVM list. Now, let's try installing another version of Node.js 14.16.0 using this command, NVM install 14.16.0. To switch Node.js versions, it's similar to RVM. The command is NVM use, then type the version you want. Finally, let's fix the insecure directory warning. Type the command you see on this screen to terminal and hit enter. Recheck the result by restarting terminal. The warning is gone. If not, you might have to Google for other solutions. Now, your computer is ready to develop Ruby, Python, Node.js. I hope you find this video useful. Please hit subscribe and like. Thank you very much for watching.